Hey guys, it's Bix. Welcome to another Mentoring Monday with this beautiful Christmas tree behind me. Today I'm going to finish up a topic that I started last week called It's Never Too Late. So here we go. It's never too late to stop worrying. Separate the worry from the problem. Figure out what you can do, then do it. If you have no power, to do anything about it, then worrying about it won't help. Allow things to take their course, then things will open up. When you eventually jump, the net will appear. When you stop worrying, you can think more clearly. Open your mind to all possibilities. You'll be surprised at how often the problem dissipates. It's never too late to, to be kind most of us rush through life and miss many of life's greatest rewards. Stop and smell the roses now and then. Take a gentler road where you have time to talk to people and to listen to them and to get to know them. Learn about their lives and their loved ones. It will broaden your life. It will give you compassion. Accept their kindness and return it. It's never too late to be fair. We all kid ourselves. We can justify our actions. We can deny responsibility. But in the quietness of our heart, we know the truth. Your inner voice will tell you to be fair. It's all about karma. If you're fair to others, things will balance out in the end. Well, my customers would call me to ask for help because we screwed up their order. I would always look for ways that we messed up the order, not the other way around. I always tried to be fair, fair to my company and fair to the customer. If we screwed up, then it was very easy for me to take responsibility and make the customer happy. So I always try to be fair. It's never too late to accept change. The only constant in life is change. In nature, in society, in relationships, at work, things change and they constantly change. So it's part of the bigger picture as normal. Don't fight it, adapt to it. Small changes daily to improve your life can lead to big changes over a period of time and big improvements. It's never too late to Make your own luck. I heard a great saying that I strongly believe in. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Prepare as thoroughly as you can. Check out all options. Rehearse. Practice. Anticipate possibilities. Look at these from different points of views. Seek advice from mentors. Always think through to the next step and fully focus on the task at hand. Another saying that I like is luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Why is it that some people are more lucky than others? Well, I just told you why in my explanation. It's never too late to cut your losses. All things have a natural end. Stories, relationships, lives, investments, and material things. The trick is recognizing the end. This is often not so easy because we're too invested into the situation. We have blind spots. Accept it when the end is recognized. I did not want to admit to myself that it was time to leave my company that I had built and sold. My vision stopped lining up with the new buyer's vision. How sad is it when champions play past their prime, a love gone sour and one person cannot move on, or life without a purpose? It's never too late to find out the facts. We spend a lot of time jumping to conclusions without facts. How many comments do you see on social media from people too lazy to research the facts? Stop a lot of problems before they start by checking the facts before you leap. Ask the obvious questions. Do your homework. Don't assume. Check the obvious. 
Think of it like peeling the skin of an onion. There are multiple layers to the facts, and most of the facts, the important facts, are on the inside most layer. It's never too late to say what you mean and mean what you say. It's simpler. It's more honest. It avoids confusion. People respect when they know where you stand. It may be tempting to beat around the bush, hoping to avoid confrontation or to avoid causing offense. But when you truly believe it, say it and say it clearly. Stand by it. You'll gain more respect and trust when people know where you stand and you always speak the truth. It's never too late to compromise. Things are rarely black and white. Most life somewhere in a gray center. There are many views and also many ways to achieving a consensus. Think about what you hope to achieve. The path to it may not be as direct as you think. You may have to surrender some ground to achieve progress. Keep your goal in mind. Adapt your means to suit your circumstances. Your compromise solution might even be better than your original solution. It's never too late to grow. Move forward every day. Take every chance you can to learn from mistakes, from advice, from observation, and through experience. Push through your comfort zone. Explore new subjects. Meet new people. Life is so much more interesting when you meet people with different backgrounds and perspectives than your own. It's never too late to let it go. To travel through life with lightness, we must unload things that weigh us down and hold us back. Lose the baggage, lose the regrets, the grudges, the hatreds, the jealousies, the vendettas. Turn them loose. You'll free up your mind for positive thoughts and healthy growth. It's never too late to listen to your body. Without good health, we have nothing. Your body will talk to you and tell you what it needs. Give it a chance. Learn the signs, the feelings, the messages, both good and bad. Respect your body. My body will always tell me when I've eaten too much or when I've worked out too hard or when I'm sick. Nurture your body and give it what it needs. It's never too late to save your money. I always say no romance without the finance. Start with little things like saving your small change. Change your shopping pattern. Then do a budget to see where your money goes. This is a real eye opener. Then decide what's essential. Stop the wasted spending. You'd be really surprised what you're wasting money on. Look at alternatives. Make your money work for you. The power of compounding interest over a long period of time is huge. So you want to get into the situation where you have money making money and not just you making money. It's never too late to push your boundaries. We all have boundaries. They're almost always an illusion drawn by fear. I have them. Or self-protection or laziness. Test some of these boundaries. Push them slowly at first. For example, I, when I played my first live gig, I was scared to death, but I pushed through it and I had a great time. So push slowly at first. See how your boundaries will bend and eventually disintegrate. Learn not to trust your boundaries. Take pride in pushing through them. So if you feel like you have a boundary, set a goal to push through it. It's never too late to live the best years of your life. You're writing your own story. You're in charge of the plot. You're the author. Make each chapter better than the last. <clears throat> and you will. You may not hit every target, but you won't hit anything if you don't shoot. 
So there you have it. That includes today's talk. Until next week, this is Vic signing off. And remember, it's never too late to stop worrying, to be kind, to be fair, to accept change, to make your own luck, to cut your losses, to find out the facts, to say what you mean, to compromise, to grow, to let go, to save your money, to listen to your body, to push your boundaries, to live the best years of your life, and also, it's never too late to reinvent yourself. Cheers.